Hello students, this is lesson 29, session 2, solving problems about length. We are on page 605 in our volume 2 math book. Go ahead and turn to that page and let's get started. Cindy buys a party sandwich that is 5 feet long. Her brother cuts off a piece of the sandwich that is 3 feet of a foot long. Cindy cuts the remaining sandwich into three inch pieces to share with the guests. How many three inch pieces does she make? Let's go ahead and make a bar model to solve this. Okay, so our sandwich is five feet long. Um, I feel like it's going to be best if we um, make this into, um, probably into inches. So let's go ahead and convert our feet into inches. So we know that, so five feet equals how many inches? We know that in one foot, there's 12 inches. So we need to do five times 12. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 1 is 5, times 1 more is 60. So it is 60 inches. It says that her brother cut off um, a piece that is 3 fourth of a foot. 3 fourth of a foot. So let's think about um, 1 foot here. Uh, 1 foot is the same thing as 12 inches inches. And so if we're thinking um, three-fourths of that, we're thinking like right around in here. So we want to know what is three-fourths of 12. So of is a way of saying time. So of 12. So it's pretty much the same thing as multiplying a fraction times a whole number essentially. So we want to know how do we get three-fourths of 12. So if we cut this into, um, into, into 12 pieces, okay, how can we make 4 into 12? Okay, we can multiply the top and the bottom times 3. So that means he took 9 pieces. So the brother took nine inches of the sandwich. So then that means that we are left with the rest of it, which 60 minus nine leaves 51 inches. And it says that she cuts the remaining pieces of the sandwich into three inch pieces. So, she is going to, so 51, so we're going to do that 51 and we're going to divide it by 3. So 3 will go into 5 one time. We're going to subtract and we have 2 left over. We're going to bring down that 1, 3 times 7 minus 21, which is zero. So she cut it into 17 pieces for their guest. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 606. You can see here is another way that they did their model. They show three-fourths of a foot, amount cut into three-inch pieces. Down here they used kind of a number line of the sandwich. We're going to skip page 607 because it's just repeating what we already did. So we're going to go on to page 608. Lulu has 10 feet of ribbon. She uses one and one-third feet of ribbon for a project. 
She uses the rest of the ribbon to make bows. She uses eight inches of ribbon for each bow. How many bows does Lulu make? Okay, so we're going to make 10 feet of ribbon into inches. So 10 feet equals how many inches? We know that one foot equals 12 inches. So we need to do 10 times 12. I'm actually going to rewrite it like this. So I'm going to do 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. So 12 times 10 is 120 inches of ribbon is how much that she starts with. She uses 1 and 1 third feet of ribbon. So she uses 12. And then we've got to figure out how much is 1 third feet of ribbon. So if she has... Um, one third foot of ribbon, then we've got to solve that. So one third would be equal to four inches because um, there's 12 inches in a feet. So um, one third of 12, well, 12 divided by three would be four, so that's four. So 12 plus four would be 16. So we have 120 minus 16. So that leaves 104 inches. And now it wants to know how many bows. So we have 104 divided by eight. 8 will not go into 1, but it will go into 10 one time. We have 2 left. Bring down our 4. 8 times 3 is 24. So she has enough to make 13 bows. Raquel and Bernie drive a total of 1,836 kilometers in 4 days. They drive 630 kilometers on the first day. They drive an equal number of kilometers on the remaining days, three days. How many kilometers do they drive on each of the remaining days? So we start with doing 1,836 minus 630, which is 1,206. And then we divide it by three. Can't do one, but we can do 12. Bring down that zero, bring down the six, so three times two, so they drive 402 kilometers each of the remaining days. Tom and Paul enter the long jump contest at field day. Tom jumps a distance of two yards, nine inches. Paul jumps a distance of four yards. How many inches further does Paul jump than Tom? Okay, well, we know that there's 12 inches and one yard. So 12 plus 12 is 24 plus nine more would be 33. And then four times 12. So 12 times four, four times two is eight. Four times one is four. So 48 minus 33 equals 15 yards. Okay, let's turn to page 609. Nestor needs 750 centimeters of rope. Rope comes in lengths of 4 and 1 fourth meters and 9 meters at the hardware store. Which length of rope should Nestor buy? One meter equals 100 centimeters. So they're wanting us to know that, so we should probably pay attention to it. So four and one-fourth meters. So let's break that down into centimeters. So that means that if we have 100 centimeters, that would be 450 centimeters. Nine meters would be 900 centimeters. So it says, which length is greater than 750 centimeters? It would be the 
100 centimeters. So Nestor should buy the rope with a length of 9 meters because it's longer. Which length is greater, one half of a meter or 240 centimeters? Well, one half of a meter would be 50 centimeters because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So, um, 240 centimeters is greater than 50 centimeters, so um, 240 centimeters is greater than one half of a meter. Let's turn to page 610. Jorge carries a football forward five and two-thirds yards on one play. He carries the football backwards one foot on the next play. How far forward is the ball in feet from the play place where Jorge started to carry the ball? Show your work. Okay. So we have five yards. So five times three feet is 15 plus two-thirds of a yard, which a, there's three feet in a yard, so two would pl be plus two more feet, so that means that he carried it 17 feet forward, but then it says that he went backwards one foot, so that means we would do 17 minus one, which would equal 16 feet of a difference. Number four, Marion is three and a half feet tall, she is four inches taller than her brother, Elijah. She is one and a fourth feet shorter than her sister, Lori. How tall are Elijah and Lori in inches? Okay, Marion is three and a half feet tall. She's four inches taller. So three and a half feet means that, how, in inches. So three, so Marion... So 12 times 3 would be 36 and half would be another 6 inches. So that would mean she's 42 inches. She's 4 inches taller than Elijah. So Elijah would be 42 minus 4. So he would be 38 inches. She is one and a fourth feet shorter than her sister. So that means it would be, so that would be 12 and a fourth would be three inches. Lori, one fourth of a foot. So that would be 12 plus three, so 15 inches shorter. So Lori. So she is 42 plus 15, so that would be 57 inches. So Elijah is 38 inches, and Lori is 57 inches. Tracy needs 31 and a half meters of wood for a porch railing. She has three pieces of wood that are each 8 meters long and one piece that is 7 meters long. Does Tracy have enough wood for a porch railing? Okay. So, meters, meters, meters. Okay, she has three pieces that are 8. So, 3 times 8 equals 24 and one that is 7. So, plus seven. So she has 31 meters and she needs 31 and a half meters. So the answer is no. She is half a meter short. That is it for today's session. I will see you back for the next one.